Hi, I'm Singh. So today I'll show you how to create a supplier, purchase order, and inventory management in Cloud Sync. First, go to the Genius Post apps, and then go to the setting, add item. Okay, make sure item is got to have a stock, and make sure you turn on the track inventory. Then, go to your cloud, and then you log in. So first, you need to create the supplier for that item. So go to the stock, go to supplier. Here will list out all of your supplier. Then you click add supplier. Let's say I buy an iPhone from Switch. Then I can put the contact name. Let's say for example, phone number, email, and the website, and the address also. Then I click add. Then it shows created. So if I want to search, I can click here. I click switch. Then you show here. Then second step, you need to link it with your item. So go to the stock and click on the inventory management so you can filter by the group and then you can filter by the supplier so let's say my iPhone 12 now my stock got 7 you can set that your lower limit which means that when less than how many of quantity of your stock then you need to top up for it let's say I put 3 and then optimum means if my stock is lower than 3 then I need to top up until become into 10 and then this is my supplier price and here I can assign the supplier so I select to switch and I click save so you show save already and the this item is attached with this switch supplier then from here for the stock transfer you can click stock transfer and then you can select like from which, which branch added to which branch and you just click, click save and exit after that then you have to create the purchase order very simple go to the stock and then click on purchase order so I click add purchase order so let's say my branch I want to buy from the supplier switch so I select to switch and I click add item so I select to my iPhone 12 so my quantity on hand is 3 then I can set my quantity order let's say I want order 10 and then my supplier price I can put it as 2005 and then I click save so it shows that the purchase order created then from here you can click on the action you can email or download the purchase order and send it to your supplier and from here you can check that the purchase order number is 09 and it's created by today if you have received the item then you click on edit then you just click receive order so it shows that how many quantity you have received let's say I have received all which is 10 save and mark complete and the purchase order status will change from open to complete and in your stock it will become 17 furthermore you also can check on your notification setting which means that if the stock is below the lower limit it will automatically email to you so in the system it shows that your iPhone 12 you have 17 stock and it's added by the purchase order 009 by admin. That's all for today. Thank you. Also, I'm saying, the system, the same.